More than 4 million people in the U.S. will celebrate their 65th birthday this year alone, and that's significant for many reasons, but perhaps most importantly because it marks the beginning of a new health care journey with Medicare. Experts say planning before you're eligible can have a positive impact on your health, and so here to explain and share the key steps for younger seniors is Dr. Jennifer Taylor, Senior Medical Director at Humana. Thank you so much for joining us. So let's start off with the advice you would give to people who are turning 65 this year as they're preparing to be eligible. Well, there's a few things I'd recommend. The first is to start your research now because it's important to understand all the different parts of Medicare so you can make a, deci a decision based on your own personal needs. Okay. Good With stuff. Original Medicare, you have coverage you have coverage for hospital stays and doctor's visits, and then there's a deduct deductible for each, and you're responsible for 20% of the cost. But with Medicare Advantage, you get coverage for hospital stays, doctor's visits, and emergency visits, and you might have prescription drug coverage as well. Okay, and primary care plays a critical role in managing health, but a significant number of Americans don't have a primary care doctor, which that actually surprised me. So what considerations would you recommend in making that choice? Having a doctor that knows you, your history, and your own personal risk factors can make a huge difference in your quality of life and longevity. And your insurance provider can help you find a doctor in your area that accepts your plan. At Humana, we recommend that our Medicare Advantage plan members try to find a doctor that's involved in value-based care. Because with value-based care, your doctor's visits are longer and more frequent, which gives you an opportunity to ask more questions and let your doctor get to know you better. Your doctor gets to know the social things about you that might be impacting your health. Okay, good to know that as well. And what would you say are some of the most important things these younger seniors, I, I like that phrase, um, uh, can do to stay healthy? Well, once they've found their primary care uh, doctor, they need to schedule an annual wellness visit. At that annual wellness visit, they'll sit down with their doctor and talk about all the different preventative screenings that are available to them and which ones they need based on their own risk factors. And those screenings can make a huge difference. The other thing I'd recommend is that people understand their Medicare benefits. For example, Part B covers things you may not realize, like smoking cessation, and Medicare Advantage offers lots of other benefits that you can find more information about online. Okay, and let's talk about uh, social isolation and loneliness. How does that impact a senior's health? As many as 43% of seniors have social isolation, and that puts them at high risk of challenges with their health. Loneliness can cause mental health issues, and it can even increase your risk of death from common conditions like heart disease. It can cause stroke and even lead to dementia. So at Humana, we try to look at the whole person and identify people who might be at risk of social isolation, and we try to get them plugged into community resources and make sure they're maximizing all their Medicare benefits. Yeah, I didn't realize how uh, impactful that can actually be. So where can we go for more information on everything? The best place to go is Medicare.gov. You can compare plans, get information about star ratings, which tell you about the quality of care and patient satisfaction. And then for more information at, about Humana's offerings, you can go to Humana.com. Wonderful. Well, thank you, Dr. Taylor, for telling us all about that today. And everyone at home, if you'd like to see this interview again, you know you can head to First Coast News Plus.